math time with Mrs. Decker Schmidt. We're going to begin chapter four now, which is the study of graphs and tables. And as we begin, I'd just like to show you that we're going to learn and practice showing and analyzing data in graphs and tables. What does that mean, show and analyze data? Well, I'll give you a brief description of that. Data is very simply the information that you get, typically in the form of numbers. So a table or a graph will help us understand numbers. Analyze means to think about, study, interpret, and understand what something means. So if we're going to analyze the data, that means we're going to study it, look at it, and see what we can figure out or come to understand about the numbers by the way they're presented in a table or a graph. There are several different kinds of graphs and tables, and I have a quick um, a short summary here for you. On the column with the graphs, you can see that there are several different kinds of graphs. One kind is a tally chart. There are also picture graphs, bar graphs, and line graphs. And we'll be working with all of those in Chapter 4 of our math book. Tables are slightly different from graphs. They always have rows and columns of information. And this table is showing that there is a column 1, a column 2, and a column 3. And within each column, there are three rows running from right to left, horizontally. Our graphs and tables will be set up. We'll make some. We'll talk about them. We'll look at some that other people have made. And we'll get information and study those. I'd first like to show you a tally chart, which is a simple way of collecting data when you're just starting out to figure to study a subject. I decided that we would pretend that we're counting all the kindness we see on the playground. And this tally chart only shows our information from September. It tells how many second graders we were observed being kind, third graders, fourth graders, fifth graders, and sixth graders. We're going to use this information now in um, following lessons to make some graphs and tables. I think you're going to find graphs and tables interesting. They're very visual, not like the long struggle of division and multiplication, so I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Remember to be kind. I will see you at school.